how to find out the line graph of any graph so here we are given a graph g and we have to find out the line graph of the graph so given a graph g what you will do is label the edges of the graph so here you have edges suppose a b c d e i am labeling the edges okay there are five edges so i have labeled them a b c d e because in the line graph you are going to have as many vertices as there are edges in the original graph so here for every edge in the graph you will have a vertex in the line graph okay here i have drawn a rough sketch of the original graph also what you will do is basically you draw a vertex corresponding to every edge you may place the vertex in the midpoint of that particular edge it's up to you you can align them in any way we want you want okay this is one particular technique of doing it so corresponding to the edge a there is going to be a vertex in the line graph so i am drawing that vertex in the exact midpoint of that edge okay so that is my vertex which is also named a same labeling as the edges okay this is an edge b so there will be a corresponding vertex for this edge and that vertex i am drawing on the midpoint so this is the vertex b in the line graph corresponding to the edge b again there is a vertex c corresponding to the edge c there is a vertex d corresponding to edge d and there is a vertex e corresponding to edge e so basically you are having vertices corresponding to the edges of the original graph okay so this is you are having five vertices in total now what about adjacency what you will do is come to the first stage of the graph that is edge a see this edge a is sharing its end points with which of the other edges of the graph so here the edge a is not sharing this end point with any one but the edge a is sharing this end point with the edges b c d and e all of them okay so if the edge is sharing end points with other edges those corresponding vertices have to be made adjacent that is a is sharing end point with b so a and b will be made adjacent the edge a is sharing end point with c a c will be made adjacent the edge a is sharing end point with d and e so ad will be made adjacent and also ae will be made adjacent okay next come to the edge b so the edge b is not sharing this end point with any one but it is sharing the other end point with the edges a c d and e okay so the vertex b here is to be made adjacent to the vertices a c d and e now here the thing is if you have already drawn an edge between the two vertices you will not draw multiple edges okay so that is one criteria you have to maintain multiple edges will not be drawn so since b is sharing this end point with the edge a so b and a these vertices in the line graph should be adjacent and they are already made adjacent so i will not draw any other extra edge no multiple edge again the edge b is sharing the end point with edge c also so b and c must be made adjacent b is sharing this end point with the edge d also so b and d are made adjacent b is sharing this with e so b and e are also made adjacent next come to the edge c c is sharing this end point with the edges a b d and e so c vertex should be made adjacent to a b e and d it is already made adjacent to a and b so i will make it adjacent to d and e next come to the edge d d is again not sharing this end point but it is sharing this particular end point of its with all the other edges a b c and e so d will be made adjacent to a b c which are already done and e is left so i will make that adjacency now come to the edge e e is again not sharing this end point but it is sharing the other end point with all the other edges a b c and d so e has to be made adjacent to a b c and d and that is already done here so i am not going to draw multiple edges so this is the line graph of the given graph g next come to this graph so corresponding to every edge i am drawing a vertex see this was the edge in the original graph corresponding to that edge i have drawn this vertex this is another edge i am drawing a corresponding vertex for the line graph corresponding to every edge in the graph you will need a 
vertex in the line graph okay there are one two three four five six seven nine edges so there are nine vertices in the line graph next adjacencies so let's label them first edges are a b c d e f g h i so i have a b c d e f g h i here these labelings are for edges here the same labelings are for the corresponding vertices now come to adjacencies one by one so edge a it is sharing its endpoint see this is one endpoint of a this is the other endpoint of the edge a this endpoint is being shared with only b whereas this endpoint is shared with c d and e so a edge as a whole is sharing its endpoints with the edges b c d and e so here the vertex a in the line graph a has to be made at this end to b c d and e okay next come to the edge b so the edge b is sharing this endpoint with a and it is sharing this endpoint with c f and g so b will be made adjacent here with the vertices a which is already done and with the vertices c f and g c f and g next come to the edge c c has two endpoints this one and this one these are the two endpoints of c it is sharing its endpoints with a d e b f g so the vertex c here has to be made adjacent to a b d e f g a b are already done make it adjacent to d make it adjacent to e to f and to g then come to the edge d it is having these two endpoints shared with a c e and h so d is adjacent to a c make it adjacent to e and to h next come to the edge e it is having these two endpoints which are shared with a c d f h i so e will be made adjacent to a c d a c d are already done and it will be made adjacent to f h i so f h i okay then come to the edge f it is having these two endpoints shared with b c g e h i so f is to be made adjacent to b c and g and also to e h i e is done h i then come to g g is having these two endpoints shared with b c f and i so g is to be made adjacent to b c f already done make it adjacent to i next come to h h is having these two endpoints shared with d e f i so h is adjacent to d e f and i next come to the edge i these are the endpoints which are shared with g e f h so i is made adjacent to g e f h already done no more adjacencies are to be drawn so this is the line graph l g for the given graph g let's see for some one another example so here the edges are a b c d e f g h i so you are having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 edges correspondingly you will be having nine vertices in the line graph okay and you can label them as a b c accordingly in the similar way as you have labeled in the original graph okay e f g h i now draw the adjacencies so edge a is having these two endpoints shared with b e c f so a is adjacent to b e c and f done then come to b these are the two endpoints shared with a e d h so b is adjacent to a already make it adjacent to e make it adjacent to d and to h then come to c these are the endpoints shared with a f i d so c is adjacent to a make it adjacent to f make it adjacent to i and make it adjacent to d next come to the edge d 
these are the endpoints shared with bh ic so d is adjacent to b and c make it adjacent to h and make it adjacent to i then come to the edge e e is adjacent to the edges b a g f so a b f g so e is made adjacent to a b make e adjacent to f and g then come to the edge f it is having these two endpoints so a c e g these are the adjacent edges with f so here the vertex f will be made adjacent to a c a c already done and also adjacent to e g e is done make it adjacent to g no multiple edges okay just remember that then come to the edge g these are the end vertices e f h i so g is adjacent to e f make adjacent to h i next h make h adjacent to b d g i so h is adjacent to b d g and i is done and lastly for i these are the end points so make it adjacent to g h d and c i is adjacent to g h d and c already done so this is the line graph of the given graph g